students in this video we will discuss about the immunity and immune system so what is immunity it has discussed already the self readiness against invasion by microbe okay it also includes defense against non microbial antigen and malignancy it means that whenever our body prepared our uh, prepared our body prepared ourselves for against any kind of microbial uh, infection that is only known as the immunity okay so what are the antigens antigens means foreign substances uh, which can evoke an immune response when introduced in the body are known as antigens antigens generally you can understand that foreign particles foreign cells those who entered in our body and show any kind of infection are known as antigens antigen jo bahar se hamari body mein aate hain they are known as antigens okay so criteria for antigenicity means how you can say that that particle is antigen means if uh, molecular size of any particle is uh, less than 5 5000 dalton uh, that time not less than more than 5000 dalton that time it's known as the antigen okay just correct it more than 5000 dalton if uh, if a particle having molecular size that time they are known as antigen okay so chemical nature uh, they are having uh, antigens are having chemical nature that's why they can produce proteins and polysaccharides and all so that's why they have to be uh, they have chemical nature okay susceptibility to tissue enzyme that is another characteristic of antigen and uh, auto specificity auto specificity uh, means uh, that uh, which accept lens proteins and sperms um, we can say auto specificity if any particle is having that time also it's also known as antigens what are the antibodies that is the main term we have to understand here what are the antibodies antibodies are protein produced within the body by the plasma cell against antigen antigen ke against agar hamari plasma cells kuch proteins ko produce karti hai these proteins are known as antibodies please try to understand it when our body produce by plasma cell uh, protein produced by plasma cells against antigen antigen ke against agar hamari body ki plasma cell protein produce karti hai they are known as antibodies okay what are the antibodies as i told you they are the proteins means they are made up of peptide chain the basic unit of all immunoglobulins means igg bodies molecules what are the igg bodies uh, means एंटीबॉडीज एंटीबॉडीज को हम आई जी बॉडीज भी कहते हैं ओके इम्यूनोग्लोबिलिन मॉलिक्यूल्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ दीज एंटीबॉडीज वन स्ट्रक्चर आई हैज शेयर दिस एंटीबॉडी स्ट्रक्चर ओके एंड इन दिस यू कैन सी दैट इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर पॉली पैप्टाइड चेन आई थिंक यू ऑल आर एबल टू काउंट इट इज मेड अप ऑफ फोर पॉली पैप्टाइड चेन एंड दे आर जस्ट कनेक्टेड विथ डाई सल्फाइड बॉन्ड ओके सो दे आर कनेक्टेड विथ डाई सल्फाइड बॉन्ड लाइक इन प्रोटीन चेन पॉली पैप्टाइड बॉन्ड इज प्रजेंट इन केस ऑफ एंटीबॉडीज और इम्यूनोग्लोबलिन डाई सल्फाइड बॉन्ड इज प्रजेंट ओके सो इट इज हैविंग हैवी चेन्स एज वेल एज एंड लाइट चेन यू कैन से लॉन्ग चेन्स आर नोन एज द हैवी चेन्स एंड शॉर्ट चेन्स आर नोन एज द लाइट चेन okay this reason is known as variable reason hyper variable reason why is it so children because this reason is only associated with binding of antigen jo bahar ka particle hai wo isi reason se aake judta hai okay so most of them most of the antibodies are y in shape you can see by your own self they are made up of uh, y shaped structure okay it's about the antibody heavy chains are having more uh, molecular weight and light chains are having less molecular weight okay so in both the reason nh2 nh2 
means it it means in this region the short chain the short is is having amino terminus region means ns2 region okay as i am telling you this blue part it is of ns2 region means amino terminus region and this region is very very important for the link between or uh, means attachment with antigen because antigen generally attach in this region only that's why it's a hyper variable region okay i hope that much is clear clear and this reason the connecting link this is this reason is known as the hinge reason which is made up of pepsin cleavage site okay it is pepsin cleavage site heavy chains are also hyper variable reason as i told you that's why it's written here v reason okay and this reason is known as c reason c means constant reason okay this is the constant domain and this one is a variable domain okay uh, so variable domain of light chain variable domain of heavy chain or down uh, constant reason of light chain or constant reason of heavy chain okay so this green and this two different uh, different color has i segregated both types of reasons i hope that much is clear so you can understand it by this also antigen binding site in if you observe all the antibodies the all the antibodies are having the different reasons okay so these reasons are basically antigen binding site or this is the lower portion is known as the constant site now this is also by this pic you can observe that th these different different parts are having constant c c c donates uh, denotes a constant reason and v reason is known as the binding reason okay variable binding reason so this is the procedure as i told you in our case immunity is based on two types of uh, way cell mediated or humoral immunity okay cell mediated and humoral immunity both immunities are very important children cell mediated means in this uh, phagocytosis process generally takes place phagocytosis means whenever any uh, antigen comes from outside so these antigens directly microfact you can see here generally they used to engulf these cells and by engulfing only uh, cell mediated immunity works okay so they are the macrophag 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 you know in previous class also i have i had explained you macrophag by macrophag processor these bacteria particles or antigen fragments just engulfed by the macrophag now from where the mac macrophag in which way the macrophag work antigen fragment receptor uh, ha antigen fragment receptor sites are there okay these are the helper cells or activated t cells activated t cells or you can observe this thing infected cell and how activated t cells work or by this only you can understand that after the whole processor the digestion process some memory cells are stored in our body these memory cells are very important okay ab in case of humoral immunity in humoral immunity a whole process just uh, stimulate b cells b cells and these b cells are very important because it associated with plasma cells you know very well so you can see here y shaped this y shaped b is covered by b cells are covered by this these y shaped anti bodies okay these y shaped anti bodies are very important and these b cell engulfed this bacterial cell so these micro in this in the macrophag uh, processor you can observe that it whole it engulfed by it but in b cells you have seen that firstly b cells are just covered by these protein molecules means antibodies and then it gets to be activated in form okay so this is the two ways by which uh, immunity can generate now i am going to tell you different type of immunoglobulin cells 
immunoglobulins okay immunoglobulins are different type and it is only known as the classification of immunoglobulins and here you can see that different types are there iga ig igd igg ige igm okay they are five in number basically okay IgM in two times it has written so don't be get confused in it so this is the proper classification of uh, uh, immunoglobulins so these immunoglobulins are very important children because uh, all immunoglobulins are having a specific function like IgA if we discuss about IgA at first so in this you can see that the structure is little slightly changed and it occurs in two forms iga monomer form or uh, in second form iga dimer form okay and this iga is basically uh, protects body surfaces the main function of iga is protection from of body surfaces like uh, iga generally present in our eye tears in mucous membrane and all from where these glo globular proteins help our body to protect ourselves okay second is type is igd igd is resembles with it is also just like iga and ig igg okay and uh, but igd is uh, having little bit uh, um, not so much important functioning but it also a part of immunoglobulin and it serve as recognition receptor for antigen ये पहचानने का काम करता है एंटीजन को ओके दीज ग्लोबल प्रोटीन्स आर एसोसिएटेड विद रिकॉग्निशन ऑफ एंटीजन नेक्स्ट वन इज आई जी ई आई जी इज मोस्टली एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर इट इज चीफली प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द लाइनिंग ऑफ इंटेस्टाइनल एंड रेस्पिरेटरी ट्रैक आई जी ई इज मेनली एसोसिएटेड विथ अवर एनी काइंड ऑफ इरीटेशन एलर्जी कंडीशन okay so that time ige uh, body is produced and these iges uh, bodies are very important for immunity next one is igg igg show opsonization process children what is opsonization uh, process when any sub anti antigen comes from outside and totally macrophage cells covers it for engulf okay that time these igg bodies are present in this way okay just uh, imagine that if you are eating burger and that time if you are having a proper topping in it then it looks or it tastes more deliciously okay so when igg bodies are present over antigen that time it gets to be more delicious or macrophagic cell uh, respond in this case so fastly okay so that's why igg bodies are very important igg bodies are children generally protect body fluids these are the very initial type of immune globulin proteins uh, which uh, just uh, develop in newborn babies also and through placenta it can be moves from mother to baby okay next one is of igm igm its effective valency is 5 okay effective valency is 5 you can see here children in other cases only two sides are there but in case of igm you can observe five sides are there effective valency is 5 clear earliest ig2 synthesized by fetus means in case of newborn babies igm synthesized at first sabse pehle fetus mein jo immunoglobulin proteins bante hain wo igm bante hain okay and by this igm aur agar in igm bodies ki jab study ki jati hai that time doctor can detect and diagnose different kind of congenital infections also ओके जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इट आईजीएम बेबी में सबसे पहले बनने वाली बॉडीज़ हैं और इनकी स्टडी करके बहुत सी कंजेनेटल इन्फेक्शंस को आइडेंटिफाई किया जाता है ओके सो इट्स अबाउट आईजीएम 
I hope that much is clear. It protect the blood stream. IgM basically protect the blood stream. I hope that much is clear. If you have any query regarding this, please send me your question. Thank you, children. Okay. Uh,